Come on along. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to do a little, not a correction, but an addition to the bogey bearing video. I had a viewer comment on there that you're actually only greasing the seal. And I couldn't comprehend it, I guess. I could. I knew what he was talking about. But when I was talking in the last video, number one, just follow the owner's manual and grease it per that. Just make sure you grease it. Because it's just as important from what I'm going to tell you now or show you. Because he keyed something in my mind and I couldn't let it go. So I spent some of my valuable uh, my time this week. And uh, I am going to show you what I did. So I can give you a visual aid. We all like visual aids. Especially us mechanic types. So I took this bearing... And I cut it, oh no! Well, it was junk anyways. But, this will be the top half. That's where the grease fitting is. There's a rubber seal here. That's just, I'll show you on the other part. And then the big lip seal. So, if you come over here to my other part of the world, here's what we got. And you will see it. This is, I cut it, I decided to cut it right on one of these grease fittings. And this isn't a grease fitting, this is just a fill plug from the factory or where they could put another grease fitting, I'm guessing. But the grease fittings on this one are right straight down here. And that one over there is right up on top. So I put it back together. I installed, I found my marbles. And I wanted to show you what the guy was talking about. I, it made sense to me right away. Because he said in the comment that this is actually a sealed bearing. And in truth, he is absolutely, that is correct. So all they're doing, this bearing is permanently sealed. Okay, unless you take this whole thing apart and you go through all the little plastic pieces and, this, and all the balls and clean it all out. It's kind of, it is what it is. The seal here on this side is facing the differential. Okay, or the axle support housing. So this seal closes this gap. You can see that. So the grease that's in here originally, it gets sealed up when it's installed. So that part is sealed. And when you put the bogey on on this side, I can tell because this is the, this has got the rust on it. This is where it's exposed to the environment. So this is the seal between the bogey and the, the bearing. Okay, so when you grease it, and let's pretend, let's, this is a better example on this side. So if I take this out, let's pretend there's a grease fitting in there. And you're greasing it. All it does is goes between this rubber, which is pinched in between the outer and the inner race, all the way around. I cut it so I could put it together. Um, but you get the idea. So this is all that's filled, this cavity between this lip seal and this inner seal. And what that does, that's where all your dirt and crap and your water is trying to intrude into the bearing. So when we talk about greasing the bearing, we're talking about filling this with grease, opening the other grease fitting on the other side, or even one of these plugs, and pumping all that dirt and water and crap out this channel to the other hole. Now, you know, a guy could do it till he's got clean grease coming out so what I learned I guess in essence is you can't really grease the ball bearings like he had said it is a permanently lubricated bearing just like what we have in the world today just on a giant size um, so in actuality I just wanted to make that clear to all you guys so all this is is your weather seal it keeps Weather and it's like a dual cone seal on a uh, final drive, that steel on steel deal, to keep all the environment out of there. This side it can't come in unless your axle breaks and it comes in from there. But this side is where it can intrude from Mother Nature. 
So you basically got about a half inch, it would almost look like a half inch fillet, square maybe, all the way around. So like I said, the idea is to take one fitting out, push all that black, ugly, moisture, rusted, sandy stuff and get it out of there so it doesn't intrude into the sealed part. And by the way, in that, and it can, and I'll tell you how it can, because they put this, this black piece does have a seam. So it's one long piece when they put it in. So your water and stuff can get in there, into this race, because it is not when I took it apart, it was about like it is right here. The rubber shrinks or whatever it does with all that time. I cut it, but there was just one slice in it when I took it apart. And so water can, moisture, dirt can get in there. That's why it's important to... Basically, you're flushing the grease out, the old crappy stuff. Kind of like changing oil in your car. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to just make a little addition to that video and show you a visual aid. It was cool cutting it apart. I might just tack this all together and you know put it all up front for the customers to look at and say hey make sure you grease this and then explain it to them maybe. I don't know I think it's cool. I should probably cut the rest of it here too but then I wouldn't. Yeah anyways I'll shut up and uh, like I said I just wanted to bring you back and show you that and give you a little additional uh, coolness from my little teaching department over here in the corner so hey and I apologize I haven't put videos up in a while I've just been busy real busy I ran out of hard drive I ran out of energy I, I just picked up a big something to store all my videos because I didn't, I didn't realize I had so much footage and it just makes your computer go I ain't gonna work no more I ain't gonna work no more so that's why I haven't been doing this much and uh, so I'll put this together and uh, if you see this one first before the next one then go back and look at that one. But always follow the manufacturer's instructions and generally they're in the owner's manual. Generally always they tell you. And if not, ask your favorite mechanic. And if he's not your favorite mechanic, ask him anyways because it's worth your money to grease that thing. All right. See you, bye! Hey you guys, if you enjoy what you see, you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, share, like, comment, all that good stuff. If you don't, then go away. But if you do, share, and let's just make this, just, it's awesome. It's awesome. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button, thumbs up, see ya.